I like these new balances a little bit more than some of the Jordan 1s I've been getting lately. And that's a fact, for real. Like, it's good to have something different. <coughs> Yo, 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 what is good, guys? As you can see, I am dying in this car of sweat because I was trying to get these little clips and all of that. Oh, and I'm about to go into the gym. I might just go get those green Crocs done after I get out of here. I might be a little stinky, but I think I might have to just do it because I told that seller, gifter, I was gonna get that video done in like two, three days. It's almost been like a week and a half. If this video ends up with me in the forest, that means I stuck to my word. want to introduce myself how's it going hi follow me on ig yeah you and your buddy over there hey you yo what is good what is good so i made it i made it and just yesterday um i watched this movie called the Last Descent, right? It was about this dude, right? He was going like cave dwelling with his brother. And um, they pretty much go into this cave and he gets stuck and he dies. You gotta be kidding me. And it's a true story. And uh, doing something similar, but I'm not gonna jump in any caves or get too crazy out here. What is that? I'm gonna keep it pushing. My daughter was like, if we ain't going to Target, I'm not going with you, Dad, so. I'm here solo, y'all. Yeah. This is where I shot the uh, the mushroom dunk video. You guys remember that? <laughs> some of you guys do, some of you guys don't. Let's see what I can do. See Bambi back there wanted to come out and holler at your boy again. What's up, Bambi? What did he say? Meh. <laughs> Wait, they don't, I don't think they make that kind of noise. What kind of noise you make, Bambi? And I think I'm done. I don't really know how many more shots of the Crocs that you guys need. And like I say, don't do anything that Colo does that you see on your TV screen. Don't do what I do, because you could get hurt. And I've gotten hurt before. And I need, to, I need to stop. I would use these for the Colorado Incline. That's, I'm being dead serious. I would still use these for hiking outdoors um, and just pretty much look and fly make sure you stick around for the unboxing because i'm out guys it's getting a little spooky out here and that deer is kind of looking at me like i'm me i know they don't really eat people but i ain't trying to find out so peace love and light <sighs> one up peace and love guys uh, i'm not going to keep you in here long but i do have to make this video at least eight minutes because when it's eight minutes i can put more ads on and youtube does its analytic things and so forth so forth so make sure you like subscribe and all that good stuff and we'll keep it pushing and um, that mushroom video i was talking about if you want to watch that video it's right here 
And if you want to go back and watch the first Salehi Crocs video that I did, it's right here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this clog is what they're calling them. Now, Salehi, like I explained in the last video, go ahead and check that video out. He's the creator of the shoe. And I would have had this video out yesterday, but the Warriors decided to win the championship. I called it in six. But these Crocs here, I thought this was like his only next pair, but the dude Salehi went crazy. And now there's several pairs, several colorways. And the biggest questions that I get about these are the sizing. So I wear a size 10 usually in sneakers. I would suggest going down a full size. And I know in that other Croc video I did, I showed you a size 10. Those fit really, really big. Like they're big. I would never buy a pair of furless Crocs with, you know, in a size 10 again. So go down a full size. So that's a, that's a M9, which is a W11 women's. And these fit really, really snug. Like these actually fit a little bit more snug than the brown ones that I did. I don't know why, but they're both soft and squishy, but these are just a little smaller. So make sure you go down a full size if you want these. That's, I'm just gonna put that to bed right there. And that's interesting, that rubbed off on those. Huh. I don't really wear these in the sport mode though because it kind of flaps in the front like I showed you in the on foot. But um, on my last video, somebody said that it doesn't say Salehi, I'm like, okay. But I love weird shoes. You guys know I was the first one wearing the foam runners and you guys, you killed me for it back then. You were like, why are you wearing those? I mean, those look crazy, those are not me. And I get it but everybody and their mama's wearing them now, especially the ladies, and that's, that's dope. Like, I'm glad people are opening up to these crazy molds and these crazy designs. There's a little sticker size tag. Man, yep, see? So I'm just trying to drill that in your guys' heads. So I got a lot of questions about these. Go with full size down, full size down. But they're very flexible, they're bendy. I would actually go hiking in these. They breathe well with your feet if you have hot, stinky feet. As far as the design, like I said before, this is Salehi Bembry's fingerprint. So they made a mold of his fingerprint and they made a mold of this crock or clog or whatever you want to call it. And he put it out and, and it was a success. Like these are still worth um, a pretty penny on StockX. They sell out every time. And I think that now that he's bringing out more colorways that they, uh, they're they they're gonna go down in price. And the insides, that those little dots, they actually keep you kind of locked in. I mean, it's not the best grip in the world, but you know, and I swapped the the tags here, the, the straps, if you want to call them that. And, and it was okay. I, I kind of like the, I don't know. I wish the strap was probably just neon green, like the whole crog or clock or whatever. <laughs> this crock. So, you know, hit me up on IG if you want some more information. And again, shout out to the gifter for sending me these. I love them. Sorry the video took so long, but things kind of jumped in the way. But here the video is, and I'll get you an IG post and all that good stuff. So peace and love, guys. I'm out. I think we hit the eight-minute mark. One. Love y'all.